YouTube. Today I'm visiting a spot that I was first made aware of in a movie you may have heard of. See if you can guess the movie when I show you where I'm headed. Well, you probably guessed it, that I'm at Devil's Tower, and it's from where I am to the top is about 1,200 feet, but the actual tower is about 800 feet. And I went up top, but there's no room for my bus at this point, but this park's open 24 hours a day, so I'll scoot up there later and uh, maybe I'll, I'll walk up from the campground. Be a nice walk. So a few facts about this. They don't know how it formed, which surprises me <laughs> for some reason. Uh, I always thought, and it is one of the theories, is that it is the core of an ancient volcano. And the, the cone around it has eroded away. That's one theory. Another theory is that it's an intrusion, is that for you, the land used to be higher and the magma pushed up through a crack and solidified and eventually the land around it wore away. Uh, the other possibility is that uh, the land, it wasn't just a big hill here where it pushed up through but it was below the surface and the surface has since worn down that much. They can't agree, but I don't know if you can see like over here, it's all lots of columns and um, so I'll, uh, I've seen pictures of, of, of crystallization like that. Um, so anyway, hopefully we'll get a chance to get up there, get up close to the base of it. And I'm thinking, judging by where it is, that this is the hillside from the movie and that the Landon Strip was in here where the prairie dogs are. Have you figured out the movie yet? I told you the three ways that modern geologists think it's possible that this formed. But the native people had a story of eight children that were out to play, seven sisters and one brother. Well, all of a sudden, the brother got down on his hands and feet and started to run. And pretty soon there was a, a big bear where the brother had been. And the sisters climbed up on to a giant stump. And the stump to help protect the sisters grew higher and higher. And the bear clawed at the stump to get at the sisters. And that's the, why it's scraped up like that. And the, those seven sisters eventually went up into the sky and became known as the Seven Sisters Constellation. Some dark night, get out, look it up. It's a circle of seven stars. So other than the month of June, if you want to climb this, you can. Uh, about 5,000 people do it every year. And if you look real close, right about there, you might be able to pick out somebody in yellow that's at the base of the actual vertical part of the tower. Uh, I think the fastest people have done it is eight minutes. 
and the slowest was six hours or 16 hours and uh, average time about five if you're into that I'm talking to you Lucas you need to come out here now if you got really good eyes right about there is a reconstruction of the wooden ladder that they put up to make the first official ascension in January or July 4th, 1893. Now the fact that there was a flagpole already up there and said eh, the guys who put the ladder up staged it. So uh, at the base here, uh, the guy's wife had a refreshment stand and sold little pieces of the flag. So it was a money-making thing. Um, a couple years later, she went up that ladder, became the first woman to go up there. If you're wondering what's up there, it's about an acre and a half, I think, uh, and it's covered in plants. As I mentioned, it's all in climate, except for the month of June. Uh, that is set aside uh, because this area is sacred to many of the the tribes at uh, the Black Hills. And you'll see like right up in there, uh, there are, that's a big one, but there are flags and small prayer bundles around here. They hold a lot of uh, religious ceremonies in the month of June. Well, a little fun thing about Devil's Tower is in 1908, Teddy Roosevelt designated this as the very first national monument. And he took advantage of the Antiquities Act from 1906. And since then, during the, dep uh, the Depression, the CCC, built things like the entrance down there where that long line of vehicles is. That is a KOA campground. I am going to spend a night here at the base of Devil's Tower. Okay. Um, but uh, they built some of the roads and the trails and, and Welcome Center up here at the top. Some of the smaller prayer bundles. So I walk around the the tower trail you see some trees that are scorched but still alive and some down logs that are actually burned these are ponderosa pine and they have very thick bark and they could uh, withstand a quick burning fire so the down limbs and the grasses and stuff burn off really quick the trouble is that fires were suppressed here for a hundred years and that meant there was a lot more accumulated combustibles so they burned longer and hotter and actually burned through some of the bark and killed off a few of, of the trees. So fire is just part of the natural cycle here. And us stopping every fire in the long run causes more harm than good. I'm on the, the tower trail. There's a lot of trails around here. This one's 1.3 miles. A lot of up and down, all paved. Wide enough. Could bring a wheelchair. Although the uphill parts would probably be uh, interesting. But I'm a little past the halfway point. So I'm on the opposite side from the visitor center. A lot of people stick around over that side and over here, it's real quiet. And the view through the trees is uh, just as impressive.
Well, I think uh, that's going to end my visit here at Devil's Tower, or at least this part of it. Well, let me know in the comments which of the uh, possible creation theories uh, you think is correct. An up a vo volcanic core, the volcano cone went away, uh, an upthrust that pushed the land up, and then that land just it didn't come out as lava, it was just magma, and then that where the around it wore away. Um, that it was pushed a, a hill up and did that? Or was it the seven sisters being chased by their brother, the bear? I'm personally, I, I go over that last one. Did I mention that this formation they figure is uh, 50 million years old, but it's only really been exposed similar to, maybe not to this extent in the last couple of million years. Um, so, let me know. And have you figured out the movie yet? I bet you pretty much all of you have. And, uh, after the credits, should be able to let you know. See you later, YouTube. Yeah.